Hi there. Sorry to interrupt. I have to share something else with you. I want to share the Windows logo key V combination. Now, this relates to copy and paste or cut and paste. Now, from the beginning of time, we were taught you have to copy something, go to where you want to put it, and you have to paste it. You have to cut something, go to where you want to put it and paste it. They've been telling us fibs. What you can do is you can go copy, 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 cut, 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 and when you're ready, you go paste, 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 paste. Now, you can copy stuff from Word, you can copy stuff from Excel, you can copy stuff with a snipping tool, you can copy stuff with a PDF file, you can literally copy from anywhere, and when you're ready, then you paste. Now, I'm just going to demonstrate on here, for example. Now, if you've never used the Windows logo key V before, you may just want to click somewhere in any application and go Windows logo key V and turn it on. Once you turn it on, then it'll work. So mine's turned on. Um, I've only got two items at the moment which I've pinned, so mine's on. Let me close this. All right, so I want to take a copy of just this info, Control c Then I'm just interested in Carl, so I'll take a copy of him, Control c Then I'll take a copy of Ian, Control c I'll take a copy of Vanessa, Control c and I'm interested in just James and Robin, control C. So I've taken what I want. I could then go off and gather something from Word, gather something from the snipping tool, gather something from all different places, and I could then go to a Word document or an email, anywhere I want to put it, and I'll paste it. So how do we paste? We don't use the right click. We don't use the icon. When I rest on the icon, it mentions the shortcut key is control V. We don't use control V. But we do use a variation of Control v which is the Windows logo key V. So I'm going to click, say, an I1, and I'm going to go Windows logo key V. Now here's my clipboard, and here's the stuff that I copied. So I'll click on this option, because I want to paste it. I'll go here, and I'll go Windows V. I'll then say, right, I want to put E in next, so I choose that, and then I go down one in Windows, Windows V. I then choose Vanessa. I go down one, I go Windows logo key V. I'll then choose James and Robin and I'll put them in. The thing is, you don't have to copy, paste, copy, paste. You copy, copy, copy and paste, paste, paste. Um, and it stays on there. If I go Windows logo key V, um, you can pin stuff. If you pin it, it means you don't want it to drop off the list. So what does that mean? It means that the clipboard that you're viewing at the moment holds a maximum of 24 items. So it's not going to just bloat out of control and eventually crash your machine. It'll hold 24 items, and when you go to copy the 25th item, it'll just drop off the list. So it's the most recent 24 things that you've copied or cutted from any application within Windows. Um, and so certain things that I use on a regular basis, like these two items, I pin them so they never drop off the list. Um, very, very handy. So if you've ever been in a situation where you've gone and got something, you've gone to copy it, you close it, then you go to where you want to put it and you go paste and it doesn't paste, don't give up and don't go back to that file. Hit Windows logo key V. I swear it'll be on there. Have fun.